What's going on everybody? Two trees has sent me out their laser engraving machine, the TTS-55. Let's unbox it and let's see what's in the package here. All kinds of goodies. We got paperwork, we got a piece of craft cardboard, booklet has lots of pictures, color pictures, words, lots of text. And here we have the laser head here, 5.5 watt. If I can get the package open up, I'll show you. Oh, that's nice. And there's a little red uh, cover that goes below. It attaches by magnets. And we don't have a power brick. Plug straight into the wall. And accessory pack. Some feet. They're mold injection plastic. Ooh, set laser glasses. USB cord. Roller assembly. Very nice. Nothing is 3D printed. It's all well built. And I guess that's it. Get it all laid out here so I can start building. And going through the paperwork here, it's going to give you an idea. It explains everything in great detail, how to put it together, how to start using the software, which, but I'll be using Lightburn, of course. And more paperwork for safety information. Oh, wow. Piece of craft cardboard. Like, I really need that. I guess that's for testing. A wooden block there. I don't know what that's for. It's called a carved wooden board times one. No idea what that is. And we'll start putting it together now. Around each corner, we've got M5 by 20 screws going on four corners. Get those done, and then we'll move on and we'll grab. Get all those put on M5 by 10s. And then once we get all the M5 by 10s, we'll go around and we'll do M5 by 20s. One goes in the extrusion, or they actually both go in the extrusion. But it takes a little bit, and it's better to do it this way on a time lapse and talk than the live stream it. And I'm checking my eccentric nuts, I'm adjusting them, make sure that it rolls nice and easy. It doesn't have any slop in it, so that's good. Put the X-Gantry on, i got to figure out which way that goes, kind of looking at the paperwork here and I'll get that figured out. I've got to put the belt on it and the tensioner on the end. And it's got to go underneath that uh, stepper motor there to pull and I've got to heat it up underneath there in a minute. Put the tensioner on there. You gotta kind of take it apart, put the belt in it, put it back together. And put the bolts in from the bottom. And I'm sorry I'm out of frame on that one there, but you'll see it in a minute. Tightening up the bolts. And back to the paperwork. Let's see what's next. Okay, I got tension on it. Those bolts are all tight. It rolls real good. Start plugging in the connectors on the second motors. And once again, back to paper. Let's be sure we're doing everything properly. There I'm. Like I'm slipping the belt on, getting it in place. Tighten up the tension. 
on the gantry. The lights are hidden. I really thought I already did this step, but and there's a laser there. The 5 to 5.45 5 watt, I'll say it's at least a 5.5 for sure. Let's put in the four little bolts and hold it in place. And it's very nice on the top there, you can uh, get a knob, you can raise, raise lower the laser with one knob and then once you get to where you want it, that's another knob you just tighten up and holds it in position. Now I gotta put the bracket on this for the wires to go back to the laser. Putting them there on the front. Now that's the little block there that holds the aluminum piece when you adjust the laser to the different heights, whether you're engraving or cutting. That's for that. Now another bracket I'm putting on for running the wires. Okay, now for the control box, put that on the front with two screws. And then I will zip tie all the wires up in the front and on the gantry on the left on the x-axis. Making sure I got plenty of travel and I'll zip tie those in place. And that's that plastic flex tubing that's slit in the middle like you have for automotive uses on engines and stuff. It's very stiff. Seems to work perfectly fine. And then same thing, I'm putting in my zip ties there behind the laser and putting zip ties on it and clipping off the excess. And just plugging in all the connectors. And let's take a look. Very nice little unit. There is no light on the front. The whole thing I don't like, there's not a light on the control box in the front. Look, you know, it's running. Nice plastic quarters there. It's very well built. It's all a molded plastic and an aluminum extrusion. There's an adjustment screw there and the knob on the top, raise and lower. And it's magnetically attached so you can easily clean it. If you need to drop it real close to your work, you can. Always wear your safety glasses when using any type of a laser. Whether it has a protective lens or not, always be safe. Better safe than sorry. It's very well constructed. There was nothing cheap or generic about it whatsoever. But yeah, it's a good looking unit. There's that little weight there in the front. Alrighty, here comes my first burn. I went and grabbed a honeycomb bed off another laser. and got a random picture of a line I'm doing here real quick. This is out of like two millimeter basswood. It's really thin wood. I hate using it. it. It warps so easy. I much prefer using four to five millimeter birch, which I will be here in a little bit. You can pick it up at Lowe's Home Depot. The birch is like five millimeter. Real big, a good size piece of it. It's like 20 bucks and you just cut it down to what size you want. That line came out great. Now here's another line I'm doing. I got this picture off of Etsy and I originally burned it too black, but I'm already committed, so I'll go ahead and finish it. And then I'll do a couple smaller ones um, that you'll see here in a minute where I lo I've lowered my power. It's got a nice little engraved. You can actually feel the texture on the birch when you run your hand across it. Any areas got a little too black, I took some acetone on a rag and I wiped it off. It's recommended my, by my friend Astro Printer that that ought to be good to help wipe off the excess. So I gave that a try after it's done and you see the finished product. And that piece of material there is 12 inch by 12 inch. And I'm currently using Lightburn. 
I have never tried laser gerbil. Test burn that I did right there. Two passes, 100%, 120. Uh, 120 on speed and 100% power burned almost all the way through. And here's another one I did. Also two passes. Almost burned all the way through. And I got this off of Etsy, the Star Wars. This was. Uh, done in one pass. And it's five millimeter birch. Took two passes to cut it out. And there's the lion. Came out really nice. And there's that bigger lion there that I did that came out pretty dark. But then on the back side, I went ahead and uh, I'll list on the screen here my power and speed. We can see it there. 6,080% one pass and then 6,070% one pass. Came out really nice. And then my mother-in-law wanted a little dog bone sign to hang on the wall for a dog named Commodore. Commodore's Corner and Alabama A on it, and that is also uh, the 5mm birch. Two passes to cut it out, one pass to engrave. And then here's some dollar tree, or some cutting boards I got off Amazon. I did not treat this with anything, I, I engraved this. And I got that off of Etsy. It was like two, three bucks for it. A lot of stuff I just Google and I find pictures and stuff and I convert them or just drop them in. And there's my logo off of a. Uh, my flyer used to go in that pouch there, and that's my Labor International Union. Labor's Local 872 here in Las Vegas. That's her logo I engraved on leather. First time I've tinkered with leather. Here's a black plot painted plastic I got off Amazon. Links will be below in the description. And I've done my logo 3D HP, very small. And I took a magic eraser and scrubbed it off with water. And then on the back, I'm, unfortunately, I didn't center it. I had to take off the laser head to get it close because it's, it's tapered, and I didn't want the laser cover to hit it, so I took it off and I engraved that. And that would have been beautiful, but we just, uh... Here we go here, and here's basically how you adjust it. It's got the different levels there on the aluminum block. You take my camera, kind of film here with my cell phone, look at the same time. You just screw that all the way down to the top of your material. Put that little weight on your material, and then you go down to the very top, that's for engraving, and then you can step down each layer, depending on how deep you want to cut. And then that's the set screw there to tighten it up once you get it where you want it, that'll lock it in place. And then, like I say, it's magnetic. Just set it on, it grabs, and you're good to go. And it's easy to take off to remove the microfiber cloth if you want to clean up your laser or your enclosure. And a little aluminum block just fits right there on the frame. Hey guys, thank you for making it this far. Yes, this Two Trees Diode Laser is an amazing little laser. 5.5 watt, it's well built, it's a good looking machine, it is not junk in any way. Um, it cuts 5 millimeter birch in two passes. I mean, it's amazing. It's a great little laser. Um, I'm so glad they sent this out for me to test and review. I'll be doing other videos on it. Please like, subscribe, and share. Um, there'll be an Amazon link down below where you can pick this up over on Amazon. Uh, they got a great price on Amazon right now. The company uh, company website, Two Trees 3D. That'll be a link down below where you can check them out too there. Great little machine. I really like it. I like the way it's set up. It's 300 by 300, which is 12 inch by 12 inch on its cutting area. You know, it done a great job. I tried some leather this time, which I haven't done in the past. I'm gonna, I got some uh, Molly stuff coming in the mail. It'll be here in a day or two, and I'm gonna be engraving some stainless steel with that, and that'll be really cool. I'm gonna try it out on some glass, and I got some other ideas. I wanna test some foam and see what I can do with it. But please like, subscribe, share. I hope you like this video. If it wasn't for each and every one of you, my channel wouldn't be growing the way it is. Um, yeah, leave a comment, subscribe, it's free. Give me a like, I really appreciate it. And until the next video, Happy laser engraving. Later, guys.